And here we are on this unfortunately very gloomy day on another episode of the Home Shopper Show. Today, we are here in Morningside showing you one incredible cluster home, but this time we're doing something different. We're showing you a rental home, but possibly a purchase you could make in the future. A stunning home brought to us by Future Dev. My name is Chad. This is the Private Property Home Shopper Show. Welcome home. And coming through your front door, you find yourself into this beautiful, beautiful living area. Now this is a compact home, stunning cluster right here in Morningside. So you've got easy access to not only Morningside Shopping Center, but also the Wedge Shopping Center. And if you're working in Santon, this is an ideal home for you. Four bedrooms, three and a half bathrooms, obviously that rental, and this is one of the few times we've done a rental, 34,000 rent a month, buys you a lot of quality fittings and quality finishes. We've got a beautiful kitchen laid out with not only a massive center island, you can see the three chairs dispersed there quite easily, plenty of under counter storage space, for your double fridge. Then you've got a five top gas burner built in stunning, specifically in the times where load shedding is happening. You know that you can still cook, love those amenities. You've got your extractor fan, both of these smeg, including your oven, beautiful smeg appliances, all the storage all the way around, double sink, space for your under counter appliances. Right over here, nice outside opening window, get some air in, and I love the placement. So when you're cooking, all of that can just zip out the window, it's not really going to make your house smell like anything. I think it's an awesome feature to have windows in your in your kitchen area. More space over here for a microwave. Oh, beautiful, beautiful spot for some coffee over here. You know what a fan of coffee I am. And yes, your dining area. So these two living areas, your dining and your lounge area, both have access to their own sliding doors that lead outside to a beautiful garden area. This dining area, again, quite spacious for a house of this size. You've got space behind for display cabinets. You come all the way around here. As you can see, in terms of my size, lots of space through here. My favorite feature, without a doubt, this right over here, you've got a built-in fireplace. Houses at this price point just don't come with such beautiful, now this is forged iron um, fireplaces, stunning flue going all the way up to the ceiling. You know, on these cold winter days in South Africa, you've got that fireplace crackling fire in a home like this, so cozy. Again, another sliding door for easy access outside. Latches, garden area, deck, the sounds. Ugh. South Africa, love it. Then over here, you've got your air conditioning unit and again, all the space here, L-shaped couch. You can sit down, relax, and enjoy the coziness of a home like this. You know, a starter family, a young professional, this is exactly what they're looking for. And again, like I did say, at this price point, the finishes you get are very, very good. Now, over here, we've got a set of staircases that leads upstairs, all your bedrooms located upstairs, but just down below, there's a couple of features we wanna talk to. Right through that door there behind me, that is access to your double garage, all of it undercover, automated garage door. And then also you've got your guest toilet. So let's take a look at that guest toilet, then let's head upstairs and take a look at what the bedrooms look like. Your downstairs bathroom has a single vanity, toilet tucked away, beautiful lighting and easily located to service all of your guests in the living areas. So coming up your staircase, you'll notice a couple of cool features. One, you've got lighting on the staircase, as you can see, two lights there, as well as two lights over there behind me. Frosted glass, giving you privacy, but letting in a lot of natural light when it comes to these staircases. You don't want them to be dark nor dingy. Then getting up to the top, one of my other favorite features of the staircase is this beautiful hanging chandelier acting as a talking point or a centerpiece for the staircase. So let's talk about this hallway. I've got a bedroom over here, then I've got two bedrooms at the end of the hallway, both with ensuite bathrooms, as well as a bathroom over here servicing this bedroom. Then behind me, behind this door right over here, we've got the master suite. So let's take a look at the first one right over here. Your first bedroom located on the right of the hallway makes a perfect small bedroom or office space. You've got a stunning window letting in lots of natural light and then you've got built in cupboard space for all of your storage needs. Down lighting provides your lighting needs and again very nicely insulated. It's a quiet bedroom exactly what you're looking for in a busy busy area like Morningside. Coming out of the bedroom however you find yourself facing the bathroom just across the hallway, stunning floating bathtub located just beneath frosted glass, a window that opens outwards letting in a nice cool fresh breeze. You've got a walk-in shower that is completely clad in glass, then you've got a floating toilet, hidden cistern and then your single vanity off in the corner. So now that we've covered those two rooms, here it is, the first bedroom with the ensuite bathroom. Stunning room, plenty of light, windows in the corner, all the storage space here clad in this stunning dark wood finishes, down lighting again, serviced with an aircon. 
Got a nice built-in mirror right over here, really opening up the room, making it feel a lot more lively and a lot more spacious than it is. But already with a king bed, it is a very, very spacious room. Then your ensuite bathroom right over here with so much light coming in. Let's take a look at what this ensuite bathroom provides and then it's time to head just across the hall to the next bedroom before we take a look at that master suite. Now, this ensuite bathroom has a lot of what we've already seen here. It's beautifully equipped. You've got your floating bathtub, floating cistern, mirror just above it, walk-in shower, as I said, cladding glass. What I really like is a standout feature for this bathroom specifically is we've got almost a wall-to-wall -wall window letting in so much natural light and giving you a stunning view of that Morningside skyline. But coming out of that, let's take a look at that next bedroom. Now, let's take a look at this bedroom, the last bedroom before we come to the master suite. As I've said, a lot of this has already been mentioned. Stunning storage, lots of downlighting, space for your bed. This, however, does come with its very own balcony. So right over here, you can walk out, look at the front of the complex. You've got your own private balcony, which I think is very, very nice. Another really cool feature is right over here, both on the left and on the right-hand side of the bed, you've got those hotel-style plug points. So there's a plug there for whatever light you want to put here, but also some USB in points and a two-prong plug for anything else you want to do. If you want to charge your phone, you know that it's just taken care of. You don't need to worry about where your power brick is. I think it's a really cool feature and a feature I'd love to see in more homes, specifically these new developments that are coming up. So it's so cool that Future Dev thought of that when building this one. But now it is time for the master suite, the creme de la creme, the best room in the house. It's time to take a look. Let's go. And here we are through this door is your master suite. Coming in here, there is a sense of quite big scale, really tall ceilings. I love that they've incorporated that because it makes a room that sort of modest size feel very, very big. This room is serviced with an aircon, got these massive cupboards built in right over here, space for your bed, those cool plug points as well as your air conditioning all built into the wall. We've got the space here for a desk and then we've got your outside balcony over here. Again, a nice private balcony for you. I'm gonna close that door. But what I like here is they've built in uh, cable tubing. So essentially, if you wanna put a TV up here, it's perfect space for a TV. Not only have you got your uh, built-in DSTV connections, but you can feed your cables through there and they come out right by the plug. I think it's such a cool feature to have. Really, really cool. Shows you the thought that they've put in when building this house. Then we've got a sliding door that leads to an inbuilt balcony. So you can open up the sliding door or close the sliding door if you like. And you've got your railing there. And you can see how quiet this room does become and I love the insulation that they've done. Then right over here is your master suite, your master bathroom suite should I say. Let's take a look at what that's got. You've got again your beautiful floating bathtub, plenty of towel racks, walk-in shower, clad in glass, your single vanity floating with under counter storage and then just off to the left you've got your toilet hidden cistern floating only the best in this master suite. But that does wrap up this incredible tour of this cluster home right here in Morningside. Let's go downstairs and let's say goodbye and tell you how you could become the next renter or possibly owner of this home. And there we have it, a 34,000 rand cluster right here in the heart of Morningside. A beautiful home that I think many of you might want to call your next home. And if that's one of you, contact Future Dev. All of their details on screen right now and schedule an appointment, schedule a viewing and speak to them how you can become a resident right here in Morningside. But from myself, Chad Rivera, and the team at Private Property and everybody that has a hand in making the Home Shopper Show come alive every Monday and Friday at 8 p.m. Thank you so much. And for everybody who tunes in, Thank you, and we're gonna see you next time right here touring another incredible home inside South Africa. Thank you, and goodbye.